Hi everybody, this is Bupinet Tube. Another tutorial on AutoCAD. Today I want to show you how to draw a line at an angle. Okay, first I will show you the simple way and then I'll show you the more traditional way. I will show you in two different ways. So first select the line command and then let's select the center of this circle. And now we need to give it a value. Okay, you can't just click somewhere because once you click, that's done. So you need to first type the length of the line, which in this case I would say 100, uh, and then you need to press the tab on your keyboard, and then it goes to the angle. You can specify any angle you want here, and let's go with 60 degrees, and then if I press enter, that line is drawn at 60 degrees. Then you can press enter, and I've drawn this circle to show how the angle changes in AutoCAD. So it's a anti-clockwise direction and it starts from here and then from zero is here and then goes 90, 180, 270 and then back to zero. Uh, so if you want to draw in this quadrant, uh, which is the third quadrant, you need, and I want to show you in a traditional way, what you do is to select the line, the point First, to go to the traditional way, you need to press F12. So you see, I got a dynamic uh, input on, but if I press F12, the dynamic input is turned off. And now, the only way to do is is the traditional way. So you select the p first point of the line, then you need to type in the length by pressing at, and then let's say 100, and we want it to be in the third quadrant. Uh, so I'll go with an angle of. 220 uh, with an angle sign you can see here at the bottom angle sign and 220 and then just press enter and that's done it's as simple as that the last line I want to draw at an angle is more sophisticated this time I want to specify the minutes and seconds of an angle and I want to go to the fourth coordinate so let's select the line again and then let's select the midpoint and press press the at and then type again 100 and then angle sign and then let's say 300 so with four coordinates is between 270 and 360 and then you need to type D and then specify the minute let's say 20 minutes for that you need to specify a single uh, code and then seconds let's say 30 seconds which is is a double code and then if you press enter it's a uh, specified angle uh, using minutes and seconds as well I hope this video was useful for you guys if it was Please don't forget to share and subscribe and follow my other tutorials on AutoCAD and have a nice day. Bye bye.